welcome to seed to life i hope you are harvesting some yummy treats from your garden this is the second video in eggplant series it is hard to cover everything about eggplants in just one video in my last video i talked about the history of eggplants and its medicinal benefits we learned how eggplants received a different welcome in each continent and how it is beneficial to our health now in this video i am going to talk about care requirements of eggplants and share some tips to make your harvest bigger and better the botanical name of eggplants is solanum melanchina but it is known by various names like bangan brinjal pea apple garden egg mad apple and many more now let's see how to grow these plants successfully where i live winters are shorter but severe frost is also common and eggplants cannot tolerate frost so i grow them as perennials but if the weather is mild in your region then you can grow them as an annual you can enjoy the harvest for many years if the climate is suitable for the plant eggplants grow well in sunny location and high heat you can grow them either from cuttings or from seeds so far i have always grown them from seeds and sometimes i buy seedlings from nearby nurseries i prefer growing them from good quality seeds though because then you exactly know what you are growing i had a bad experience of growing eggplants from plants purchased from a local nursery last year and this year i have one of my many eggplants that is producing beautiful green eggplants and i am planning to take some cuttings from this plant because i really want that plant again next year in my garden if you are growing eggplants as perennials then you can start the seeds indoor 4 to 6 weeks before planting them outside that is in late winter or sow them directly outdoor when the temperature is consistently above 60 degrees fahrenheit or 15 degrees celsius it takes longer for the seeds to germinate if the temperature is below 80 degrees germination period is between 5 to 14 days depending on the temperature if you are planting them directly outside then you may want to protect the seedlings from sudden temperature changes as the seedlings are delicate when they are young you can put an empty milk can with bottom cut over them until they mature if you don't have any empty bottle or can then you can just use some mulch to protect the new plants from moisture stress eggplants love water and the soil should be moist at all the times but it should not be flooded with water we don't want the roots to rot you can add some inorganic material like sand perlite or vermiculite to facilitate drainage if the plant is potted the spacing between the plants should be about 18 to 24 inches If you have enough space then you can increase it even further and plant some smaller vegetables like herbs in the shadow of these plants. Eggplants are demanding and more space and nutrients you provide to them that much bigger will be the harvest. Eggplants love heat so they should be planted in sunny location. They grow more fruits in full sun. You can see in my raised bed the plant that receives full sun is growing so many fruits but the one behind is in semi shade area and it has fewer fruits also because it is little hidden i guess beneficial insects can't see the flowers easily so it is better to plant some bright flowering plants like marigolds or zinnias near the eggplants to attract beneficial insects There are 15 to 20 varieties of eggplants and you can grow the variety of your choice. I prefer oval graffiti uh, long purple, white egg like eggplant and black beauty eggplant. This year I planted two different kinds, graffiti and green oval, and both were grown from seeds. Some of the plants developed fruits that looked like Thai green eggplants. So I got more than two varieties from two types of seeds. I think it is because of the cross pollination. I remember last year I had purchased some seedlings from nursery and the fruits were very small. It was quite disappointing. But this year eggplants are one of the top producers in my garden. I mentioned earlier eggplants are demanding plants. They need nutrient rich soil. Better the soil, bigger will be the fruits. I have plants growing in multiple raised beds. 
the old bed has beautiful soil that is rich with lots of uh, organic matter and plants in that be bed are doing excellent whereas the ones in the new bed are also producing fruits but they are smaller i think because i stick to only organic fertilizers and compost as the soil matures it is getting better there is a lot of life in those beds and that is making plants healthy and strong once the seedlings establish well that is about 2 to 3 weeks after germination i apply nitrogen rich fish fertilizer or blood meal so that the plant grows more leaves and gets bigger but i also use bone meal that makes the plant stronger and harvest bigger it also stimulates root development and bone meal works for about 3 to 4 months so i add both blood meal and bone meal and sometimes azomite to the potting mix at the time of transplanting the seedlings i don't want to confuse you if you are a new gardener and don't know about these products or you don't want to use them because you don't want any animal based products in your garden or they are not available to you it is fine you can use any organic all purpose fertilizer and you are still good you can also make some homemade organic fertilizer from your kitchen scraps or compost and use that once the plants establish they grow rapidly in the first few weeks i prune my new plants to allow branching that way the plants look fuller and grow more fruits and flowers but even if you don't do that early pruning egg plants typically branch one mistake that i made this time is that i didn't stake the plants the varieties that i am growing has sturdy plants but they are also growing more horizontally and occupying a lot of my raised bed i should have guided the branches to grow upwards by staking them and giving them proper support in about 2 to 3 months flowers start forming the buds are tree drop shaped and they develop either as a single flower or group of flowers the flowers are light purple in color and have five petals that are connected egg plants are self pollinating many people complain that they get a lot of flowers but they all fall off also there are many misconceptions about egg plant gender like male or female flowers or male or female fruits i have decided to discuss that in a separate video that will be coming soon now even though i told you that egg plants love heat nothing in excess is good isn't it in my region they stop producing sometimes in summer because the temperature stays consistently above 100 degrees but as the temperature goes down to 90s it again starts producing I think plant not setting fruits is not just dependent on the temperature but also because of the watering. If the roots are not hydrated all the time then the plant may not produce. So it is important to mulch the plant to minimize the heat damage during summer. Many pests love egg plants like aphids, hornworms, potato beetles, spider mites and there are many more. The best solution is to feed the plant well and make it strong. Having beneficial insects and garden helpers like anoles help me a lot nowadays. I ignore if there is a small infestation and wait for the predators of these pests to arrive because I think the permanent solution to this problem is letting the nature take care of it. Now I have a huge variety of beneficial insects and I appreciate them for making my job easier. If there are beetles or caterpillars that are visible then I manually remove them as much as possible or use water spray. And the last resort is the neem spray. So it is only a last resort and I use it very sparingly because it also affects the beneficial bugs. Once the flowers are pollinated the ovaries start bulging and eventually develop into beautiful egg plants in about 3 to 4 weeks depending on the variety and climate. Now let's do some harvesting. People get confused about when to harvest the fruits. From my past experience, I can tell you that it can be a little tricky. 
you need to harvest the eggplants as soon as they mature. Once they are ready for picking, they look shiny and when you press on them, they bounce back. The thorns, if you have any, are green. If you wait even 3 to 4 days more, the fruit starts producing seeds inside and then it loses shine and feels hard to touch. Inside, the core dries and the skin becomes thicker. And you can see this as the core dries, the seeds start appearing and you can see the rows of the seeds in the core part of the eggplant. And uh, the taste changes considerably. It changes from mild sweet to bitter. I have a thorn variety and the thorns on the, th those eggplants, they turn slightly brown as they mature. So if you know that your plant is small, then expect that it is going to make smaller fruits and don't wait too long. Proactively keep checking on the fruits every day and pick them at the right time. Here I have kept few eggplants on the plants, uh, on my best plants to ripen so that I can save the seeds from them for the next year. But otherwise I just pick them when they are still young and soft. I hope you find this video useful. I am soon coming up with more videos to address the pollination problems and seed saving. If you haven't already, then watch my history of eggplants video. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel seed to life for more such videos and gardening tips. Click on the bell icon to get notification about future videos. You can post your suggestions and questions in the comment section below and you can connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and our website aseedtolife.com. The links are posted in the description along with more reference articles. Happy gardening! Thank you again! See you soon!